Welcome to another exciting episode of Media Voices on Prince Media Television. I'm your host, the precious Sainito. Uganda as a country, we have had a number of administrative units. Some of these include kingdoms, among others. These kingdoms were spread out throughout the different regions in the country. We had kingdoms in the north, in the south, here in the central, in the east, and in the west. Among those kingdoms that we have in the country include the Ogugabe. Many years ago, some of these kingdoms were not allowed to operate. They were expelled from operations as administrative units in the country. The current government led by Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tibo Haroa. When they came into power in 1986, they allowed some of these kingdoms to operate again. However, some of them are not in operational right now, though they have or they had some structures. The kingdom of Obugabe existed many years ago, as we are going to see in this video. The Ankole Kingdom, traditionally known as Ogugabe, was a traditional Bantu kingdom in Uganda that lasted from the 15th century until 1967. The kingdom was located in southwestern Uganda, east of Lake Edward. With its traditional capital in Barora and an estimated population of 4.1 million people, the kingdom of Ukole was incorporated into the British Protectorate of Uganda by the signing of the Ankole Agreement on the 25th of October 1901. Some of its rulers included Rohinda who ruled from 1430 to 1446, Nkuba who ruled between 1446 to 1475, Nyaika who ruled between 1475 to 1503. Nyavugaro Ntare I, who ruled between 1503 to 1531. Rashonga, who ruled between 1531 to 1559. And one of the current, Charles Revisheni, from 2011 till present. The Nkole Kingdom was divided into 10 counties. These counties are now divided into various political constituencies, but include the original 10 counties of the Nkole Kingdom. These include Kashari, Isinjiro, Rampara, Nyamshozi, Ivanda, Shema, Kajara, Bunyaruguru, Igara, Buhweju, among others. When you look at that big background about the Ankole Kingdom, there are many things that you can learn about this kingdom. However, when the current government allowed these administrative units to operate again, the Ankole Kingdom, to some extent, is not in operation. There have been discussions throughout the country from various stakeholders to allow this kingdom to operate again as an administrative unit, just like the likes of Buganda, Busoga, how they are operating as administrative units in the country. A few years ago, veteran journalist Tony Owana conducted an interview with the current president whereby he gave his views about why he has not yet allowed the Obugabe or Ankole Kingdom to operate again as an administrative unit. We extracted a video from Mr. Tony Owana who allowed us to use his, his, his video. Let's listen in to the president as he explains why he has not yet allowed 
the Obugabe to operate as an administrative unit in the country. You are watching Prince Media Television. Let's go in for this video and we'll return. Now about the Obugabe, as I said in my TV interview, really this is a small matter. It's not a big issue. Uh, we amended the constitution of 1967 and in this new constitution I think it was also incorporated that any community who want to bring back the traditional institutions can do so if they so wish. Now that's where the question is. There, there are two crucial words there to two cru crucial points. First of all, the community. Secondly, if they so wish. Now, in the case of Obugabe, the community we are talking about are Banyankore, and Banyankore we know who they are. Banyankore are quite a, a large group. Some of them live in uh, Buganda, others live in uh, uh, Chigezi, but the ones who are talking about Obugabe are the ones in the three districts of Mbarara because the ones who live in Buganda already have Kabaka. So I cannot say that the Banyankore of Zimbabwe, you go back to agitate for the Mugabe of, 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 of Ankore. That's sheer confusion. So those Banyankore of Zimbabwe, they have got their Mugabe, their Mugabe here, their Kabaka here, uh, Kabaka Mutebi. So those are catered for. The Banyankore of the Banyankore of Ngoma and Wachato and Bururi, the, the, these are catered for. So if they don't know where, where the Mugabe is, I will tell them. I say the Mugabe is, is in Bolanga. You go and uh, for those of Banyankore, I, 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 I will give them the address. But they call him Kabaka. Uh, because I cannot go into that redrawing of boundaries b between this Banyankore here and the Banyankore there. So the Banyankore we are talking about are the Banyankore who live, and non Banyankore, all the people who live uh, in uh, uh, the three districts of Mbarara, Ntungamo, and Bushenyi. Now, I have not had any resolution from any of the district councils saying that they want to Mugabe. Let those who want to Mugabe bring me a resolution, because for me, my job is, is, is to maintain law and order. I cannot allow somebody to impersonate, uh, like for instance, if you, if you come here, like this is a press conference. Uh, if some people who are not members of the press impersonate and try to come in, we shall stop them and say, no, no, you are not members of the press. We shall not allow you to, 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 to come in. So we, cannot, uh, we cannot allow somebody to say, the Banyankore want to Mugabe. Then my question is, who, who, what is the evidence? The district council has not passed, uh, the, the district councils of the three districts have not passed any resolution saying that they want to Mugabe. The RSC falls have not passed uh, the, the counties have not passed resolutions saying that they want to Mugabe. The RC threes have not passed any, any, any resolution. So what is the basis? Therefore, I will not entertain these requests until I get evidence that, like in the case of Buganda, there is interest among the Banyankore in this, in this of Mugabe. After watching that video, whereby the president was trying to explain why he has not allowed the Obugabe or Angola Kingdom to operate as an, as an administrative unit, you listen to some of his views and the reasons he gave. Thank you for all those that have been watching today's episode of Media Voices as we looked at a brief history about the Obugabe or Angola Kingdom. 
Join us next time as we bring you yet another exciting video on this channel. Subscribe to all our social media platforms. On Facebook we are Prince Media Television. YouTube we are Prince Media Television. And those that are on TikTok we are Prince Media Television. To our friends that are on Twitter, we are also Prince Media Television. Enjoy your week.